Hello and welcome back to an, another FC24 video. I'm going back into Ultimate Team for the second time today as my game completely decided to freeze up as it has done recently since the upgrade. Um, so yeah, we're going back in and hopefully it runs smoother than it did before. Um, what we saw before is that I had a whole load of, uh, well, five objectives done. So we'll t we can tick those off there, not in particularly interesting or rewarding sections. And there's nothing new going on in the menus at all. Okay, so let's hope that we have, um, let's go moments first, why not? Obviously we have the new season coming this Thursday, so the chances of at us actually getting any new moment stuff before then is highly unlikely. But... We'll always have a look just in case. You never know. They might sneak, sneak something in there just to keep people on their toes, just to reward those who actually check. So next thing we check is the evolutions. Do we have any? We do. Okay, cool. So those are the current evolutions. So these are the brand new ones. Okay. Oh, it's a Centur Okay. Centurion's upgrades. Select a player that meets the following requirements. Max 85 with max 87 pace, max 85 shooting, minimum 80, minimum 53 shooting, rarity centurion. So I've only got the one eligible player. Wait, max 85 and centurion. So only Mendy isn't Mendy's 85. He's not eligible because he's got 95 pace. Munayin's got 84. Four pace, so he would count. Um, yeah, him. Simon's pace is too high. His pace is ninety-two, and then we've got some new ones today. Lewis Dunk, he's got eighty pace, so he qualifies. Anderson's got Felipe Anderson, the Lazio player. He's got ninety pace, so he doesn't count. And Ryerson, the Dortmund fullback, he counts. So is that? That's Andrich, Dunk, Munayin, and Ryerson. So you can upgrade four cards. Why do they? Why did they not just make those cards two ratings high to begin with? I don't get it. I'm am I am I missing something? I don't think I'm missing something. I mean, wins. Win squad battles, win squad battles, win squad. So it's just winning squad battles. Play with your player. I mean, he's not amazing to start with, but he goes up to an eighty-seven. Um, no additional play styles. I mean, he gets better. Obviously, it's a plus two, but he's not incredible because they've limited what you can add in so Andrich, Dunk, Munayin and Ryzen it's a little confusing and also that minimum 53 shooting requirement seems bizarre because obviously Dunk is the, a new player added in today in the mini release and he is the lowest shooting at 53 so if they just put it in because he's at the bottom end of that shooting element I don't know. It's confusing, but it's free and it's there and I will upgrade Andrich. So, yeah, well, that's new today. And there you go. There you can see on the right-hand side, Lacazette, Philippe Anderson, Lewis Dunk and Ryerson added in. Let's go through. That's, it's weird. I mean, yes, it's good there's an Evo, but if you've not packed a card, I mean, I guess it increases the market for the lower-rated uh, Centurion cards when obviously they would be discarded or they would be absolute minimum but and I guess Munayin at 1986 is still going to be a pretty good card to get but yeah I guess it stimulates the market for those lower rated cards within the promo and I could see them doing it again for that kind of thing but for general interest it's not going to peak most people's not going to float most people's boats. But we'll do Andrich for sure, for sure. Right, do we get anything other SPC related? Probably, probably not. Players. Um, Alvarez, we have Odegaard, we have Simmons. We have Takafusi Kubo still. 
We have Santiago Jimenez, who seems to have been there forever. We have Juan de Foyth, who was the last Trailblazers one. Two player of the months. Dynamic duos. No, so nothing new there. Nothing new there. Nothing new in challenges. Nothing new in icons. Nothing new in foundations. So, it is it is weird. We have a mini release for Centurions. We have a Centurions update evolution. Have we got like big packs? I'm guessing we've got a big pack, yeah. Oh no, that's still the same ones, isn't it? Okay. And then the gold pack we got nothing from. So yeah, mini release and Centurions Evo. It just... Seems a bit mad. Let's have a look. Uh, we're going to my club and just have a quick look at the new cards that have been added in today. And then we will wrap up the video there. Um, because there's not a whole lot new today that we can fully have a look at. Uh, Centurions. Okay, the first one up is Marta. I mean... She is a good card. She'd be given a plus from what she's got at the moment. The dribbling's really good. Probably want to put... Nothing does pace and reactions. So you'll probably go with pace or go with reactions to level out that dribbling. But the physicals are decent. The passing is good. The shooting is good. And obviously she's a skillful technical card. So that's a good card to get there. Philippe Anson is the other one that's there. Right wing... And a striker could make him interesting. Obviously, he's not upgradable due to his pace. But the dribbling is good. The physicals are good as well. He's basically just a faster, faster, stronger version of Marta. Um, the other ones we have are the Premier League centre-back, Mr. Lewis Dunk. Step forward. 80 pace is a massive up, pace up boost, up lift for him. Two passing traits. Ping pass, slide tackle, power header as well, not a surprise. Six foot four, good frame in the air. It's a decent enough card. And then, oops, who else did we have? Ryerson. There we go. Solid pace, passing where you want it. Dribbling is decent. He's a good, yeah, he's a good starting choice for a Bundesliga left back. Oops, oops. Which are the other new ones? Lacazette. Very level dribbling, pretty level shooting, level pace, level physicals. It's a level decent card. Four star, four star, five foot nine. Technical, first touch play style plus. Power shot and finesse shot. That's going to be a nice card. Put Hunter on that. Your pace is mid-90s. Your shooting is mid-90s. Your dribbling is still really solid. No holes or weaknesses with that card. That's a decent card. For sure. Could even hawk it. But you probably want the extra pace of the Hunter. And what else have we got? Uh, what's the other one? Munayin. There we go. Obviously, this is eligible for the plus two as well, which would take the dribbling up that degree further and the physical was up as well. And then whatever card you want to put on him, a hawk would work because the dribbling's good and you could boost that physicals to an almost acceptable level. And he's small and nippy, five foot seven, four star skill moves. That's a decent card. So that's what we've got today. It's a confusing evolution put out by EA, but I'll upgrade my Andrich, so why not? I mean, it's there to do. So, yeah. Just seems a bit confusing. I guess it's the, the, the fact that they've done it for the lower rated cards within this promotion makes those lower rated cards worthwhile. But why make them low rated in the first place when they're going to be instantly upgradable by a plus two? So, and why only include half of them? Because obviously, I guess they don't want to overpower the other ones. Yeah. That's what's new today. We have Centurions Mini Release, Centurions Update Evo, and we have the Team of the Week um, Player Pick, which is as there as always. So, yeah. Oh, Marsha apparently is an SPC coming in rather than 
in the packs. So we've just got the four, I think, in packs. Yeah, Ryerson, Dunk, Philippe Anderson, and Lacazette. Um, because the clocks have changed here, that probably means that EA have got the timings wrong with Martha. So that's probably why she's not even in the SPC section yet. But she will come. I am sure they normally drop it a little bit later when it's a mistake like this. But yeah, we'll end there. Good luck with your picks. Good luck with your packs. Hope you've got good stuff in Squad Battles Rewards this morning. If you've opened them there, or you could it might be saved them now till this exciting mini release. Other than that, I wish you well. Hope you've had a good Sunday, a good weekend. Um, bad luck if you're a Man United fan. That was quite a brutal game. Other than that, I will speak to you this time tomorrow. All being well, we'll see what Monday has to bring for 6 o'clock content. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.